from here on the east coast of Arkansas. Listen up. I'm going to tell you something really, really good. All we had to work with was these two onions for supper. That, that was the key to it. Was what was for supper and uh, I had these two she had these two onions right here and uh, I said well let me have them I said I can work with them onions and uh, so this is what we got to work with and we're going to make a it's uh, I'll put this recipe in the description down there I'll put the I'll put the right amounts in there because this is really good. You you don't want to mess this up. You know, if you've only got two onions, you for sure want to make a it's gonna be dinner for two is the what it is. And we're gonna have them country croutons. You know, it ain't nothing but toast. And uh we'll put some butter on it with some garlic powder and toss it around in the skillet you know and uh, you know t to brown each we'll, we'll dice them up uh, croutons is what they're going to be uh, country style you know if we had french bread we would use french bread but we didn't have enough so the oh it's going to be good <laughs> Oh, did I tell you what we was making? Uh, you, you know, it's my version of French onion soup. Okay, I'm going to dice these up. Move along a little bit, and then we'll come back. With these onions, that's them two big onions diced up there. Uh, you know, it's a medium, medium dice. It's not, it's not that quarter inch size, and it's not quartered let's move over to the to to the to to the pot and uh, it's not a skillet and uh and fry these up oh the did 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 we discuss what we were making it's french onion soup cream style y'all hear that sizzle it ain't nothing but butter all, all I got in there is two, I'm going to tell this to you. I already put it in there and heated up the burner. Uh, it's two tablespoons of uh, butter and two tablespoons of uh, canola oil. And I, and I done put it in this in this pan right here. And, and let's dump them onions off in there. We got a pretty good sizzle in there right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to, you know, saute these. Uh, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually going to cook these right here until they uh, got a little, little burnt spot on them occasionally. So I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit more because I hear tell that some of these cooks out there in the world... Uh, it takes 45 minutes, 30 minutes to uh, to fry these onions up. But, you know, turn that heat up. Man, let's get on with it. I'm going to let them cook a while. And uh, and we'll just we'll just see how long does and it take. Do we, you know, we're just going to let them fry. No need to. Uh, no, I'll tell you what, let's do at this point. Let's put that red pepper flakes in there. We go, you know we have to have them, so just well to put them in there now. And uh, again, I'll show you about I'll show you about how many it is. A little bit, a little bit many. You see that right there? That's about a half of a teaspoon, is what I would judge that as. And 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 while we're while we're spicing up there, and actually, you know, you you know what a good rule cooking 
uh, I mean, it's, you know, there's some staples in any any profession, anything you do, any hobby, you know, any task, whatever you do, they they are some staples, and uh, and one of the staples in cooking is stir after each in, ingredient, and you will, uh, yeah, you will. So just a better mix, you know, just on principle. And and, and it's and that's just a pepper hole over there. But I did put about a, a quarter of a teaspoon in there. And let's put some salt in there. And uh, let's see about how much. Okay, so about how much that is. Dump it off in there. And I think just because this this recipe right here, I think just 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 because let me let me pour out a little thyme here. Okay, right there's that powdered thyme. I'm just gonna throw it in there. I'd say that was about a that was about a quarter of a teaspoon also. Okay, let's stir that up. Oh, that's smelling good. I, I anticipate uh, that this right here is going to be a successful dish, cooking along quite nicely. And 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 actually, we we are going on the eight minute mark now. It's been cooking for eight minutes, and I'm just going to leave it alone and get back to them croutons and let it cook. Now let's check in on these. Oh uh, yeah. Y'all can get a smell of this right here. Oh, I need to turn that off. If y'all get a smell of this right here, it's exactly what you want. And I tried to, I tried to put them burnt corners. You know, it's country style right here. And you talk about soul food. This right here, you know, they, they may sell it at them there bistros and uptown restaurants, but you make you a good bowl of this cream style onion. I mean, just two onions is all we started with, but that's good to go right there. So that stuff you can buy now, uh, uh, beef broth. And it, and it it comes in a box, and you know just get it off over in there. One box of that beef broth stuff. Oh, that looks good now. My, that looks good. I'll tell you what, with a piece of cornbread, if you ladled, if you ladled some of this right here onto a piece of cornbread. Oh, ain't none better eating than that. Now I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit, and then we're gonna put some cream in it. Oh, it's gonna be good. And we got some cheese on standby. We gotta bake it in the oven yet, but it's worth it. French onion soup. Now, you actually, and you would be well to do so. The, the smell, and I've not tasted this, but I would say if you served up a bowl of this exactly like it is right here with a piece of cornbread or a handful of croutons, I, I don't think you would have any left on the plate. So it would be well to go right here. But no, we're going to put some evaporated milk in there and make a cream sauce in it. We we will know. I think I think it'll probably. I'll probably put the whole can in here. Yes, I think that's going to work out perfectly. A full can of evaporated milk to one of the boxes of beef broth. And it is low sodium, but you know, if you're going to throw a handful of salt in there, you know, what? how come that low sodium is important? Man, 
If you use the regular kind, don't put no salt in it. Then it, they should be the same. And I'm going to let this come to a simmer to get that uh, cream and beef broth combined. We, we, we want to see a simmer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ladle. Well, I'll show it to you. I actually let this went. It's been it's it, this has been this has been at a small boil, a uh, uh, hot simmer for about five minutes. Going to be wonderful. This is going to be good. But it's time to cut that off. We don't need that no more. Let's move over to the uh, sideboard and we'll uh, prepare these for baking. Let's ladle. Let's ladle in a. We'll fill these, and that's another thing about serving size for a French onion soup. It's not one of them big old uh, a large bowl. Uh, a me mediocre, mediocre about what we got right there. Y'all see that? Oh, that's going to be good. You can tell that now. Look at that. That's going to be good. And and you, if, if possible, you want the same amount of fiber, even, even to the, uh, I think that's about right. Okay, you see those two? They, they, they're almost identic, identical in height. And that's what you want. Oh, it's going to be good. We're going to have some left over, too. And that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Come out just right. Yes, we are going to have some left over. And that, and that just was those two onions. That's what I'm telling you. You can eat very good. I mean, we're talking almost, well, in some circles, they would say this is gourmet. You know, I say it's just two old onions. I mean, they was by day, yes. I do give them that. Now, and they had the... Well, I'm going to say we have two more servings left here. I will dish that up for a leftover. And right yonder, that's them uh, croutons that we done went and made. Them homemade croutons. And, oh, liberally, a lot. Because we, we got some broth right there to work with now. So you can you can use up them croutons real fast if you don't watch it. Don't put too many in there. Just the right amount. We'll level them out here in a minute. But just kind of judge how 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 many, and you know, give everybody an equal proportion. All oh, them croutons good. Moving that, you know, don't make a lot of them. Cause you can't eat too much. Okay, kind of level everything out where you don't have any real high peaks. No, no high peaks. Uh, because we're gonna cover this up with cheese. Yeah, we got cheese coming. But you can see we got croutons left to go with the uh, leftover, and also we have uh, some extra. And the cheese is a mozzarella, a mozzarella. Uh, I mean, it's just a basic, basic, basic a as you can get as as far as a really good meal. I mean, it's we're not done with it yet, even. We 
we're going to use up all this cheese right here. We're going to use it all up. Let's just put a bit, a little bit. It's that not over my bit. Well, we got some down in there. Don't don't let that in there. Okay, now 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 what I'm gonna do? Look here, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shove these up in that oven over there. Uh, broiler, the top part be on, and I'm gonna heat this cheese right here. No, oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Let's put some Parmesan cheese on there. And that's a new one too. Let's put some of that that Parmesan. Uh like right in there. Oh, that's good and fresh. But it does have a lump in it. We'll work at it. Cheese. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes it gets kind of exciting. Cheese. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now I'm going to show them in that oven, and then we'll come back and look at them. Extra. Extra croutons. Presentation. Presentation is everything. Let's, uh, we did, we did have a little bit of that. Let's just kind of, you know, throw a little bit on there for decoration. Oh, yeah. Good to go. I think for sure a taste test is in order. I think I've earned it. The beauty, oh yeah, the beauty of um, the smaller size croutons is you can actually get one. This is another one of these recipes that if you do not fix yourself, From here on East Coast, Arkansas, with a glass of milk would be perfect. I think that's what I think that's what I'll pour. Clean up as you go. From here on the East Coast of Arkansas, French onion soup, country style, cream. Enjoy.